All right. Hello, those people have funneled in. I've acquired snacks. Whoops. God damn it. I know when I try and type in a certain program to start and then the Windows thing, it's like, it'll like match something like the first three letters and then it'll just switch to something once you type the fourth and can't catch it in time. That's right, Zero Three does come out next week. Kinda curious how that's gonna end up. Three kinda wins some play or two kinda wins some places I'm not one super happy with, so I really hope they don't double down in the difficulty department. One was pretty easy, for the most part. Two ended up having an area that was super, really, like, really annoying. And, um... It just didn't, like... There was... It, it just was, like, annoying to the point where, it, like... Not only did it stop... It stopped two people that I know. Like, stopped playing it at that point. Uh, me and Torpo both stopped at that one point. Yeah, the insta-kill, yeah. Also, I think this is the third entry that um, Integrates has made for one of their like retro style games. So I'm kind of curious to see how the escalation goes. That sounds about right. Um, so they did both the bloodstains. I think they did bloodstain in general, though. Um, so they did both Circle of the Moons. Not Circle of the Moons, uh, Curse of the Moons. Uh, they've done Mighty Gunvolt Burst. 
and they also did um did a blast master oh yeah they did do nine ten Oh yeah, Mega Man Zero, yeah, they're talking about to do that. specifically worked on I can't remember if they did my number nine I think that was concept but my number nine and integrate just might have done a little bit of back end on it and yeah I wouldn't call count the zero games as retro because those I mean those were the Mega Man games at the time get this show on the road so hello and welcome to another episode of lolo type um so we're gonna be working more on that quest i've been making um last time we kind of carved out a kind of a sketch of what a level might be i guess what our level one is going to be but we didn't really put a whole lot into it other than um just some like random stuff in it so uh i think it's time that we actually you know go ahead and, you know, put some more stuff into it and actually make it, you know, a level. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, if you are watching the video, uh, you might notice that this is going to be a little bit shorter. I kind of felt like doing something a little experimental today, um, which I um, would normally include in this. Uh, like, I would just have the whole entire stream be one video. However, I don't know if YouTube's going to like me uploading it because um, you'll see when, or well, I guess you're watching live. You'll see what it is, but uh, I think I might get in YouTube trouble if I try and upload uh, what I'm going to do at the second half, uh, which is going to be watching. Uh, I, I, I keep on saying some random ones, but I have some videos in mind, which I will leave until uh, I will, you know, you'll see when we get there. Uh, so this video is going to be the video is going to be a little shorter. Stream length is going to be full. Uh, so there's an incentive. Uh, if you're watching this on a VOD, you can watch my streams live. Or I think, I don't know how Twitch handles VODs because I never really do it like that. I usually just do YouTube. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, as I lick some of the snack thing off my thumb. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what we're doing. And might as well just go ahead and get started. So here we were. And let me go ahead and get some music. Um, you know what, I was listening to some arcade music, or I was listening to my weird playlist that I've had of, like, music and all that, so, like, yeah, like, arcade stuff and all that, and stuff that has, like, mp3 soundtrack, so, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm just gonna pop this on, and it's just gonna go random, so, let's start, let's start here. Okay. Alright, time for me to remember how the hell this thing worked. Oh, yeah, because this is where the level warp was. There's something else. Also, hopefully that's not too loud. Or actually, 
I think it might be a little quiet. Let me take a look at OBS. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Um, also, my mic seems a little quiet based on this. There we go. Let's get that mic. I can really hear it there. Although I think I have my monitor up a little bit high. I think that's going to be a good mix for now. Here we go. That's right, we got the Temple of the Dog. Burning, not burning food is good. Um, yeah, I ended up making a weird pasta thing yesterday, uh, which was, I've just been referring to it as garbage pasta because I don't, don't really have a name for it, which was, I'm like, you know, I feel like having some orzo. Yeah, that's where I put the map. So I'm like, you know, I haven't made uh, Instant Pot chicken in a while, so I'm just going to throw some chicken in some Instant Pot, which the my favorite flavor is usually when I get a chicken, I get it from uh, uh, my local grocery store, which has like um, like uh, different flavors of pre, like, pre-seasoned uh, chicken, and they had a really good chili lime. So... Got that, so I'm like, well, I think if I'm doing chili lime, I'm gonna do a quote unquote Mexican. I don't want to call it Mexican because so I feel like that's an insult, especially since I have people who watch from Mexico. Um, which basically meant that I cooked the chicken, cooked the pasta, and then I just threw in, uh, because apparently I'm garbage, I threw in uh, Taco Bell taco sauce, I guess medium. And then I threw in a char of uh, nacho cheese because I felt like that needed a cheese, uh, which the nacho cheese I got was a, it's a local brand. So that uh, put that all together, kind of didn't blend it literally, but I kind of just kind of mixed that all together. And that's going to be six meals. So that's what I've been eating and it's been pretty decent. Okay, what do I want to throw in here? So I got a lot of cubby holes, and yeah, because I think, like... I think I wanted my main item... No, I didn't... Co I cooked the pasta separately. I just cooked... I... I didn't even cook the sauce. The sauce was already done. Uh, I cooked the pasta separately. I cooked the instant... Or, I cooked the, um... Stuff in the instant pot. No, I didn't. Uh, actually, so if I, you make uh, pasta in an Instant Pot, uh, which if you're not familiar with what an Instant Pot is, because really that's just a brand, uh, it's a pressure cooker. Uh, you can actually make pasta in the Instant Pot uh, with the sauce already in there, because you need, in order to get the pressure cooker to work, you need a liquid. Okay. So try and just figure out what do I want to do with this? Because I think... Yeah, I got the boss key there. Uh, Instant Pots I really like. Or, like, I really like my Instant Pot. Uh, which I, I keep... I should just say Pressure Cooker, because you can get more than Instant Pot Instant Pots. Um, usually I, I just do chicken in there. Uh, which uh, a pressure cooker pro hack that I've discovered, uh, especially when you're making chicken, if you want to like a, if you're going for like a barbecue-y kind of chicken, if you're going for something more, if you don't mind a little citrusy, um, lemon, like any sort of citrus soda as the kind of the liquid in the instant, or like in the pressure cooker uh, is really nice because one, it, the flavor doesn't transfer a whole lot, but it, you get a little bit of a hint of it. Uh, I've been using, there is a local Wisconsin soda called uh, Jolly Good. that has a flavor called Sour Power that I've been using. You just put two cans in there. Uh, and the nice thing about that, because it's carbonated, 
uh, in the pressure cooker, it will actually get the carbonation. The carbonation, when it, you know, tries to boil, will kind of get the pressure built up really uh, quicker. So, yeah, there's that. Um, okay, what do I want to do here? I think I just, to get my creative brain working, I think I'm going to do a little bit of, do a little bit of, um, you know, interior decorating. Is that good? I think that's gonna be as good of a blend there. What actually what happens with the instant or with the pressure cooker is um you when you release the pressure it, it like creates a huge like geyser of steam. Oh, it should be very startling at first, but once you get used to it, it uh isn't as bad. There, there is... Actually, what does this one look like? Yeah, let's throw in a... Odd-looking... Like, yeah, some of these... There, a little bit of variety. Um... I should could have put some stuff in here. Where the hell is this from? Oh, it's from Parasite Eve. Okay. I was like, what the hell is this song? And it's like, why do I have just musical ambiance in here? Hmm. This nah, that's just a thing, okay. Alright, I feel like if we're doing uh -huh. Hmm. That sounds nice. Uh, I actually have a few kitchen appliances that I feel are like really good. Um, this one seems a little bit louder. Uh, so, um, what was I gonna say? Uh. Off the train of thought. Um, what, um... I live in, a, like, a condominium, like, a complex that I can't have an outdoor grill. I think I can, but it's gotta be, like, an electric kind, and that's... If I don't have an electric grill, I do have an indoor electric grill that is kind of nice. Um, I also have a toaster oven, which is a really good investment if you like sandwiches. Um... I feel like if we're should put some I should put some enemies in here. Let's see what. Yeah, do we have? Okay, so I have a. I just have a bat. The difference of between bat and a keys. Um. Okay, what do I got? So I mostly exclusively use my toaster oven for, you know, toasting. It has like, it has, it can work as a convection oven, but I just, I have a natural oven in my place, so I still don't bother with that. Also, I, I don't think I've used my oven except for something very specific in like months. Um, I just haven't really been making anything that just requires the oven. It's not even like a heat thing, it's just I don't really eat a whole lot of and also, is there... Oh, I guess they have a thing where the keys can be, like, um... Uh, the buzzard things from Link of the Past. Okay, 1 HP. Um... 
I really hate how small your mouse cursor is on this. Can damage by. Okay, that, then you can do that. What is the level two keys? Or not this? Oop, not no. Nope, I don't want to set it. I want to look at it. Um, I know the microwave doubling as an oven. That is an interesting concept. Okay, it looks like this one is just. Okay, it looks like you just have two different colors of keys. So you can, I guess, I don't know, mix and match. Um, the thing that I've been, like, um, it's actually something I'm going to be doing uh, this... Oh, shit, that's what... I just realized I screwed something up with my... I, I need to get some spinach from uh, the grocery store. Um, but um, what I need to... What I've been doing lately is I've been... I really like a wrap, um, and I can feel a sneeze coming on, which is great. Oh, these bats are, like, hired. These... That's a meaty boy. Huh. Okay, let's not use the bat, then. I guess let's just throw in some level, whatever these keys are. What's a triple? Oh, I think the keys, if you can spawn in, then it'll turn into a, a vire, I think, if you do this. So yeah, let's just throw some keys in here. Make it sitting. There are some, there are some bats in here, and what do we want for... Do these act as armor? Okay, those do actually act as armor. I should probably put some armless knights in. There's some that are... Okay, there are some that are armless knights, some that aren't. That'll be good to know for later. Hmm... Put some like, I don't know. It's all pattern here. Make it a little trickier to walk through. Here and then. Um. Don't even know if I want to, what I want to put in here. I think actually before I start doing too much, I want to kind of figure out what the... What all we got in here. Um, also, since this is going to bug me if I don't do it. Oh, that... Do that. Okay, so... I think we get in here. Oh, we will need keys though, so. Because, yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking right here being something that warps you here. And I think this is where we're going to keep um, one of the, you know, you know, the key items. Not like key, but a key item. Now the question is, what should we give them? So I know bow's a good option. Boomerang, I think, is more of an incidental one. Is thinking that 
Hmm. What kind of thing should we give? Kind of wondering if I should do theming for it because if we are this going to if this is eventually going to turn into a Hazel Town story thing and this is going to be going in the Rainbow Reverse, this is based on Cass. Who I'm trying to think if I want to give an item that is you know based on him, he does a lot of punching, but there's no like punch glove. Um, actually, then one thing that might be good, although it's not really a great thing is power bracelet might be one thing which I forgot is that am is it referred to as amulet in here uh is it bracelet it's probably just called bracelet yeah worn up love I'm guessing bracelet 2 is the actual power bracelet oh that's not what I want to do can I edit from here or do I have to go and Okay, yeah, here. What are the things? Push level combo is one. Hmm. Kind of feel like the power brace is a pretty lame first, uh... Or pretty not great first one. Charge ring. Clock. Also, I'm trying to remember what all... Part of me is thinking maybe Hammer might also be a good one, but the thing with Hammers in this one, what they, what's really good about Hammers in Zelda Classic is that they can break um, Dark Nuts shields, which is a good thing to have off the bat. But I don't know if it's kind of the thing where we should have Dark Nuts that you fight first with the shield and then you eventually you get the Hammer. And... But you know what? Dark Nuts sucks, so let's do... Not a heart. Let's get you the hammer real quick. Hammer. Now, what should I get? Hmm. So one of the things I'm thinking of is... So, if I'm thinking Hailstone stuff, that is a setting in which a character having a sort of ranged weapon pretty early on would make setting sense. And part of me is thinking that at one point I want to turn essentially the bow into some sort of bow, either like a bow gun or like an actual gun. Which I might want to, I'm kind of thinking of giving that to them pretty early on. So part of me is wondering if I should just, you get warped here. And I'm trying to remember, actually I'm curious, what do enemies? Um. Uh, the, the boomerang would make sense, too, but the boomerang, um, I always feel like that one, because I like it how, like, actual Zelda 1 does it, where it's a, it's something you get off of a, kind of just enemies. Because it's always so situational. Um... Let me just check something. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. Back to what I was looking at. Uh, Goma. What is a Goma? In. 
Just kind of cure it. Let's see, boomerang blocks. Oh, I can. Hmm. Since I have four levels of Goma to work with, is that? Uh, I can make one of the first Goma actually easier. But it looks like, cause yeah, is it just a flag that's like? It's one of them. wait. Okay, it's just there's no defense on arrows. Okay. So theoretically, I could make the Goma weak to other things. Hmm. Script. I like that there's a script weapon defense. Um. Hook shot defense. And why is it block? Block if great. Why is it block if less than... Huh. Let's see. Stun or block? Huh. Um, half damage. Want to kill. Actually, I am... You know what? I'm going to look something up real quick because I'm curious about something. Uh, Paul's voice, where are you? Oh, stunner... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Is there... I don't know why my voice cracked there. I was kind of hoping that, um... I was kind of hoping that there would be, um... A thing if, um... Like a... a uh, whatever, the whatever they call it, the musical instrument... I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to have, um, from a protagonist standpoint, I think as I mentioned earlier, like, in, like, the first episode, um, if, um, I was going to have the protagonist be Lila or Rhapsody, because if, if it's Rhapsody, then, an, uh, you know, if her being music-based, her doing stuff with the, like, having some flute stuff might be interesting. But anyway. Hmm. I'm kind of curious what the difference between weapon or damage and I. I'm going to imagine that one of these is uh, collision damage and one of them is actual weapon or like attack damage. I'm kind of thinking that damage is pure contact. Yeah, so let's do... Yeah, so let's have a Goma hold on to this hammer. And I'm gonna do some uh, mani uh, manipulation to make it a little bit easier. Uh, like, namely, making... Um, um, actually, I'm wondering, can if I, is there a, um, another thing where, uh, I was thinking if, I was wondering if, um, 
there is a thing that if you are stunned, if it, you can do take damage from something. Um. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna put that there for now. Although I do want to check something. Because if I look at a Dodongo. Oh, Dodongos have. Okay, so they have their own. That makes sense. That the 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 Dodongo. Yeah, the Dodongo would have its own special fun stuff. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me actually put up, pop it in there. Um, the dung. So no, nope, <laughs> not gonna. Keep on thinking, Dodongo. I'm going to put it as a Goma level one, as a holder, actually, and then flag. Screen data. First enemy carries item. Actually, you know what? Um, enemy's item. There we go. Okay. There is that. So. Okay. Well, there's our kind of mini boss, I guess. You know, I think we already have like a couple other mini bosses. Anyway, um. I gotta take care of something real quick, so I will actually be right back. I turn the jams up a little bit while I'm gone.
All right. Back to this. Okie doke. Now. Hmm. I think what I might want to do is uh, put some, figure out where I want to put keys stuff. But I feel like here's the boss thing. So I think what I'm going to do inside of like traditional boss doors, I'm going to do these because these should have, I believe, I should have access to keep. Yeah, lock lock. There. Actually. I think one actually uh also I just realized something. Um Oh I can do copycat. Um Can I do this? No, I can't. Because I want to make one of these that's just for the boss door. And I don't think there is one. Um, so the art stuff, I'm probably not going to change much of, <coughs> oops, sorry. This that got caught in my nose. Um, I'm probably not going to change much of the, like, ground art. Uh, it's mostly going to be character and, like, item stuff. This is probably going to stay as it is. I'm actually curious, how does... Oh, actually, can I? I can copy. Oh, advance pace. There we go. Okay. Uh, and that song uh, could have been from Castlevania. I wasn't sure. Hmm. What's what is the flag?
Yeah, so I have a bunch of things in this playlist that is from a YouTube uh, kind of a remix composer that uh, does a lot of stuff from Konami stuff. Uh, I think it's Yone2009, I think is the person's YouTube. And they had a bunch of remixes that I knew most of the stuff, but a lot of it's just like, oh, here's a bunch of remixes. So, hmm. Okay, so. There we go. So now. There. Well, actually, what I could do is this. Oops. There. So that doesn't look right. So let's see. Something like that. Um, let's see. This looks like another place that a key might be good. I wonder if I should do level specific keys. This is normal. And I think, uh... This would be good for some... Good old fashioned Goraya. This one, I'll have one of them carry it. Then this one will also be a key. So I'm trying to think, what all... Let's see, how many key doors do we need? I think going into... Oh, I think this should be... Yep, that's keyed. Um, going up to here, which this is going to be... To just copy this design from. It's all the one. And this is gonna... Go here. Let's make this like boss room looking.
There. And then you can pound your way out of the exit. Actually, I'm curious. Pattern. You fall from ceiling just for giggles. I think this might be a good room for Boomerang. I feel like it's kind of... Here is we'll have Trio of Garaya, but then first enemy is a ringleader and carries the boomerang. We're gonna have this be a dungeon boss. Actually, you know what? We're gonna have. Test whether you got whether or not you got the item. Yep, not level two dark nuts. Checking something real quick. There we go. There. This looks like another room for a key. You know what? That's for funsies. It's gonna be a stealthless party in here. Do this.
Let's see, how does this look? Is this gonna be... Yeah, whatever. Oop, I'm gonna need the... Oh! That's nice. Place a solid object on top of the item, you can, you know, put it right there. <laughs> what happens if you put power to a key? There we go. Oops. Oh, damn it. I want right here. So what, I think we have three keys so far. I know we're going to have... Can somebody see? Can I... Is there a map that I can see of this? Tools. Key map. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just trying to think. I feel like there should be a key like going to this top little thing area leading to the stairs. It is Dungeon 1, but I mostly will be... Like, the enemies in here won't be that bad. Because also the thing with Zelda Classic is that the... Um... Um... The total, like... If you think about, like, the difficulty of the enemies, it's like... If you think about Zelda 1, it's like halfway through this entire thing's, like, total... Possibility, so it's gonna seem harder... It is a bit big, but it's relatively simple. I would say, because I can make this a lot more complicated. But yeah, I actually could probably shrink this a little bit. But we'll see. Yeah, because I'm gonna keep up there, key up there. Yeah, okay. I think third that should be um this one goes. I think going here, because then this you go. Yeah, right here. Yeah, this one keep like a little simple pathway. Yeah. 
No, let's just have a bunch of keys in here. Yeah, that's the that's the thing I'm like, oh right, yeah, if I make it harder than So what I can do is I can just make this kind of more of a simple thing and just have mostly the rooms be kind of mostly just have rocks in them. I wonder if I if I can do this. I wonder is push block a combo of its own? I just realized I can make one of these a... boss one. Just give me one second, I need to blow my nose real quick. Sorry about that. I would highly recommend not getting... having food go up the wrong... 
Sinus. Huh. I didn't. It went... <laughs> I'm getting too technical. Basically, I I had a small food particle enter my sinus or my mouth, which was not a pleasant experience. Oh, I know it'd be fun. Oh, right, Harry. Hmm. Okay, I can't believe that. Okay. Okay, can I do... There we go. Uh, Armos, huh? Foreign swear, maybe? Okay, let's let's uh, go fix that uh, flag. But also, oh, I didn't fall from ceiling. That's how that works.
Hmm. Okay. Hopefully that worked. There we go, and then... There we go. This is, song is super quiet for some reason. Is it control? There we go. So what's it looking like now?
Add a few more rooms. I have an idea for this. That's gonna work. Yeah, it, it's really weird hearing this out of context. And then we're gonna make this room just for funsies. It's gonna be a dark room. Wait, Patrick, wait, can I just do D? Yep, nope. Yep, there we go. Uh, there, I think there are indestructible enemies.
Hmm. I could do something like making a bunch of bushes. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, there's some appropriate music. Okay, now I'm curious. Okay, so I need, in total, one, two, three, four, I just sounds like, one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, four keys. And I have three. Hmm. 
All right. I think I want this room right here, if you can see it in my mouse, right next to the room with the pots. I think I want that one to be a room key. now. I'm curious. Is there one that's grave? Save real quick. Then actually, uh, I'll be right back. All right. Okay, since that was saved, I'm curious how something works. Nope, we're not going here. Okay, what is the flag for here? Oh, it's, um...
Hmm. Oh. Okay, so that's how... I see. So in that case, I want these. Okay, good. Wait. Hmm. Oh, it's this this song from a game that I was actually mentioning today. that for now. I mean, that's, that is a true statement.
I'm gonna try and make this room a little fancier. Oh, that's going to work.
I also, I suppose. Well, this is going to be the boss room, so just trying to think what I want to do with it. I think I might just have... Oh. Two Aquamentuses. I don't think we're going to finish doing this, even if I did do this the entire time. I don't think I'd be finishing this level. We're getting pretty close because if I look at the map right now, the flow of it is pretty much there. Of course, we all need to test it. But yeah, so essentially, you'll need keys going into here to get the map, here to get the boss key. Compass is just going to be out in the open, uh, but you'll need to go to this area, which you'll get the boomerang, and this warp, which will take you the hammer, so you get there. So you get both your key items up here. So I think that's at least... It's not going to be fully done, but at least that is a solid layout for this level. Though granted, we haven't playtested it at all. I don't think we are actually going to do it this episode. But, uh, yeah, that's at least... I mean, at least it's there. I can do a lot of this stuff off-screen, though. I was planning at some point... I don't plan on doing the entirety of the development of this. If I get, like, a day in which I'm not working on stuff, I can just go ahead and try and do a little bit of, like, the finicky stuff of, like, just the interstitial rooms I'd done, but uh, I feel like we at least have the core done. So, there's that at least. It's not exactly a super fancy dungeon, but it is. At least, and it's, it's large, but it's I think it's, due to this, it's pretty simple, because it's not like, there's only a few places where you can really, you can't really get lost in it, because everything's pretty straightforward, and I don't think, there's no, like, warping paths or anything. Um, definitely also gotta do things like difficulty balance, but that's always after. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think there is a few things that 
I think for the most part, that is pretty... I'm pretty happy with what we got so far. Oh, granted, that is level one of eight. This is not going to be a quick process by any means, but, uh... Yeah. Pretty happy with that for now. So, um... Yeah, uh, with that, uh... I did mention that I wanted to try something today, so... We are going to do that. However, uh, there is actually one thing that I realized that I needed... I forgot to do uh, after uh, we finished Brandish. Uh, which is because next Sunday we're going to be doing... Uh, we're going to start Shadow of the Colossus, which is the next long play game. Which is the next long play thing I have on the docket, so... Uh, for those of you who have been watching this, you get a treat uh, in that. Um, I need to pick the next two games of my long playlist. So those of you who are out there, uh, you get to help me uh, pick this out real quick. So before I close the video, I do want to actually pick out these games. So um, to anyone that is out there watching, um, if you want to help... Let me get this open. Also, let me do this. And yeah, level design is never fast, but, uh, yeah. Um, so. What I'm going to do is give me this. Let's see, how is this going to work? Um... Uh, Okay, um, let's see, let me check some real quick. Oh, that's actually, this actually has some, uh, three things, uh, filled in there. So, uh, just to show, if you're still watching, um, actually let me get my face out of the way. I need uh, some people um, to, if you want in to potentially pick what uh, one of the re uh, long play games is, uh, just say your name in chat, and I'm going to pull a couple, two names from the list, and you'll get to pick from one of these. I suppose you don't have to actually put your name, but you can. And I will go ahead and pick from the list. So, let's see. So we got Max, we got Tyrion, Coolio. Yes, the darker color is a longer game. Um, did you want in on the uh, thing bag. I mean, if you want, you can go ahead and uh, just say that you want in. Uh, also, to those who are out there, if you want in, just say something in chat saying, like, I want to be in, or just put your name or something. Uh, I'm going to go grab a drink, and then when I get back, I'm going to pull names. Whoever wins, tell Lolo that you want Duke Nukem forever.
All right. Well, now I see that three people are here. So that works. Um, I, guess, I guess I'm just pulling to see who doesn't get a vote, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'd put my name in, but I already won one. I don't think that would be fair. Uh, okay. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, I forget which one I ended up with. I oh, think oh I thought you said this one. <laughs> No, 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 no. I've won one before. And I'll oh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, all right, well, I guess I'm going to pull who is not. Well, I'll do, I'll pick two. Well, actually, I'll do it like this. I pick one, then you get to choose, and I'll pick another, and you get to choose. So, let's see who's going to get it. Uh, it was Max. So, Max, what is your pick? Uh, if you need any, if you want a description of any of these, uh, let me know. Three C, adventurous RPGs. Okay, so, what do we got in 3C? The Sword of Hope. Oh, yes! Nice! Uh, so this is a game by Kemco for the Game Boy uh, that is essentially them trying to do a original ICOM adventure that's, like, in fantasy, but it also has RPG elements in it. So... Yeah, I actually, yeah, I think you might have brought it up, but I think I have been. I watched a video on this, and I kind of wanted to see how it was. Uh, and that looked... it's grindy. It's extremely grindy. Yeah, very hard. I'd imagine we're only gonna do one episode of it. So yeah, there's that. Okay, doke. So now Max gets removed. All right, here, Nicolio. Which one are you is going to get it? Nicolio. Same deal. If you want any description. If you want any, yeah, if you need any explanation of what these are. Also, if you stepped away from the computer, I am giving you a minute. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> no, Coolio's busy playing serious, Sam. Don't worry about it. Uh... The one stopping Julio killing your pick. 18B. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, PC Fun Times. It's the first B pick. Knox. Uh, so this is a D. I believe this was a Deathmaster request. This is a game that I remember my brother being really into. This is a Diablo clone. Um, and I don't remember much else about it. I just remember it's a Diablo clone. So those are two. You know what? Actually, uh, Tyrion, go ahead and pick one because I actually kind of feel bad about that. And also me having a backlog is not exactly a bad thing. <laughs> Benevolent Lolo. <laughs> yeah, go fi fill my schedule and it's, yeah. <laughs> Makes less uh, work for me. Okay, 10B. It's time to get dark. Uh, picking the one, uh... Yeah, because I think are all these? Was that a... Yeah, so all these are going to be one episodes. Okay, 10B. Demon's Crest. Mm. So, yeah, I know we were talking about that. So, yeah, Demon's Crest. <laughs> So, there. Um, 
Yeah. So there. Now we have the. Uh, actually, I'm curious. How much? Uh, how many more do I need to fill out? Okay, give me a schedule. Where did you do? So now I can do this. Scroll down. Oh God damn it! I went to the wrong account. So if I do a schedule, now you're gonna put these into the schedule that I don't have public. But so let's see. Um, so that's gonna go in August. Shadow Colossus. Okay, so Sunday the fifteenth is going to be the sort of hope. I just realized that's my dad's birthday. Uh, Sunday, August 22nd is going to be Knox. Not Bix. Knox. Uh, and then September 5th is going to be Demon's Crest. So there. Uh, that is... I now don't have to pick for a while, which is kind of nice. But regardless... Yep, there. I wanted to do that because I forgot to do it after Brandish. Um, but yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to go. Like I want to have like the next one obviously known, and then so that I have a backlog in case I need to test stuff. So with that, I highly rec man. I highly recommend don't getting stuff stuck in your sinus systems, man. I don't know if I'm just all of a sudden getting a cold or something, but I'm just getting really stuffy for some reason. Anyway, with that, um, I'm going to close this out. And uh, I'm going to not end the stream, but I'm going to end the video recording. So I'm going to do the end thing so the people on YouTube uh, get a proper outro. So let's talk about what we're doing on Friday. Um, yes. Uh, here, give me... You know what? We're going to do this. Just because this song's fun. Also, I think I need to turn that down a little bit. So. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you're... Uh, my personal Twitter's at Lola Puzzle. Uh, Discord's at... Uh, Discord the LDP at Life. Uh, when polls are active, you can go there and you can chat the community. It's Patreon. Two and five dollar tiers helps with posting costs and various other things. And, uh, there's that. Uh, if you want to watch these live, you can watch these live Fridays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturdays at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time by going to twitch.tv slash Uh If you're watching this uh, in a VOD, uh, you can watch this, or you can watch past episodes by going to YouTube to LDPL Life. There, um, uh, these episodes get Monday, uploaded Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and uh, this one's going to go up on Friday. Um, there's also a two exclusive shows on the YouTube channel and the radio channel, Hazeltown Story and Media Delta. Those get uploaded at Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. Um, so there is that. On Friday, uh, we're taking a look at Toho fan games. Uh, in particular, there is a few handful that I'm going to focus on, uh, including uh, a very interesting set called Kumajo. I think it's what... Yeah, Kumujo Densetsu, uh, which are, as you can guess by the thumbnail and the song, um, very much uh, Toho Castlevania. But there's a few other ones I want to take a look at, too. Uh, so that's if you're... So, yeah, uh, there is that. So, again, thank you all for watching. <laughs>